And my name is Derek Brew, and we're in Houston, Texas, on Fine Forest Trek, Golden Eagles. This is where it all started at. Um, here, I ran the 400 and the 200 meters, and I was a state champion in 1996, and also the 96 McDonald's Classic Games. Here's where I earned a scholarship and I moved on to Barton County the Community College for two years. And I left there on a scholarship to go to LSU and broke the school record and the SEC record with a time of 44-29. Finished my career off there in 2000 and signed a deal with Nike. Four years later, I went to the 2004 Olympics and got a gold medal and a bronze medal in Athens. Let me tell you a little bit about myself and my goals. Let me tell you about my journey to Athens and my goals. I had many goals when I was in high school, when I went to Klein Forest, I had a dream of being an Olympian. I dreamed in 1995 that one day I'll make it to the Olympics. The next year was the 1996 Olympics. And that year, I won the state track meet. I ran 46.67. And I was asked to go to the Olympic trials, just, just to try it out and you know, just have the experience because I made the qualifying time to be able to go to the 96 Olympic trials. But, you know, finishing up high school, I knew that I was young and I won the state meet and I won the National Scholastic meet. And I knew I didn't have an opportunity to, you know, to win the, the trials and make the Olympic team, but I had that shot to go to the trials. And it became a dream. I said, hey, you know, I had this opportunity. Maybe one day I can make it to the Olympics. I left Clown Forest in 96 and went to Barton County. That's in um, Great Bend, Kansas. And there I set goals. I set goals to be one of the, the best runners in the world, uh, one of the best runners in junior college and college. Because at that time, Junior college were, was a, a smaller school than the Division I schools, your LSU, your Texas, um, Texas and the big schools. And I wanted to shine and compete and do my best. But also I knew that I was not at one of the big schools. There at Barton County, I set my goals high. I looked at the, the record on the record board and the record was 45-25 in the 400 meters. I said, man, I want to break that record. And I had a lot of people that said, hey man, you're pretty fast, but you're not gonna make the, the record this year. That's not gonna happen, you know, you can't do it. I broke the record my freshman year. I ran 45.20 and the record was 45.25. Broke the record. My next year as a sophomore, I set my goals even higher. I said, I want to run faster than the record I just set. So I set my goals to run under 45 seconds. Junior college record was 44.55. And I set my goal just to run under 45 seconds. And the National Scholastic um, Junior College meet in Edwardsville, Illinois. That summer, I ran 44.53 and met another one of my goals. Broke a record again. From there I left and went to LSU and I just kept setting goals, just kept setting goals. I had a school record there that I wanted to break. And I worked hard, put the work in, and broke the record there. Not only did I break the school record, I broke the SEC record. So now I knew that when I set my goals, I was reaching them, I was excited, I put the work in. And now I had to finish out what I really wanted to do, that was making an Olympic team. So 2004, I made a commitment to make the 2004 Olympic team. I ran at the trials, I got third place, 
which gave me the opportunity to go to Athens. And I went from there and got third in the 400 meters, which earned me a bronze medal. And I got a gold in the 4x400 meter relay. And today, I just want to tell everybody that you can set goals as high as you want. You know, don't let anyone tell you that, hey, that's too high. You set it too high. You never set goals too high. They always, if you work hard, you can always reach them. And that's what I did. I worked hard in a classroom. I went from high school to junior college, junior college to um, college, to LSU, to Division I. There, I got a business degree. Your goals must start off with education. Education is an important tool. I don't care how good you are in basketball, track, football. Without education, you cannot get a scholarship. If you have bad grades, you can't get a scholarship. It's not all about just barely making it. Because what happens when you barely make it, you have to score higher on the SAT. You got to think about setting goals in the classroom you know, there's so many hours a week that I'm going to study to be able to have a, a B average or an A average. You don't want to just get away with a D, they said, because you have to have a high SAT score. Set your goals and put your time in to study to be able to have a B or an A average. So when you take the SAT, you don't have to score a, a thousand or twelve hundred. You can score something. That's a pretty good score, but you can get in and go to school and set new goals when you go to college. Because some people are going to be athletes and some people are not. But with education, you're able to get a good job and you're able to just have the tools that you need in life to make good decisions and to be a good uh, member of society. You know, So education is very important. Set your goals and stay with it. So again, set your goals high, keep at it, work hard in school, and be humble. I'm Derek Brew, 2004 gold medalist and bronze medalist. What is your goal?